Hello, my fellow scientists, and welcome back to another edition of Science is Everywhere, the home edition. My name is Marie Lanka, and I'm coming to you virtually from the Children's Discovery Museum, which is actually my home as of today. <laughs> That's okay. We're all staying home. We're taking care of ourselves right now. So today for our science, I want to talk about chemistry, and more specifically, chemistry that is in the kitchen. What some of you may know, and some of you may not have thought about, is that cooking in the kitchen has chemistry involved in it. In fact, I challenge you to find something involved with cooking that doesn't have to do with chemistry. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about a couple of different words for chemistry, and then I'm going to show you how we're going to do an experiment using those two words and see how they may come into play in real life when we're actually cooking. So what are those two words? We're going to be talking about change today, and more specifically, physical change, and, say it if you know it, chemical change. So changes to things, changes to materials, and in this case, changes to food. So what are the two differences? Well, let me give you a simple example, and this is one that I'm doing because I'm an adult, please don't try this at home, but it really does show what a chemical and a physical change is. So I'm going to take matches, and again, this is for adults. Please don't try this at home. So if I just take a match, you're probably all familiar with what a match looks like, but just in case, there's one a little bit closer. So it's wood, and then it has some material down here that's combustible that burns. Okay, so if I wanted a physical change in this, I'm going to change this, but I'm not going to make it into something different. I may change its shape, but it's essentially going to stay the same and it might be reversible. So if I just to break it into two pieces, there we go. I still have two pieces of matches. I could maybe tape them back, back together. It still would burn like a normal match. So this is technically reversible. Okay, It's still made of the same stuff, all that good stuff. Now, a chemical change is something that takes place that is unreversible. And many times it has to do with heat. So match is a very good example. There we go. What's it doing right now? The match is burning, right? Okay, and again, don't try this at home. Now, if we take a look at that afterwards, other than the smoke, there's your heat. That changed to something that is now not reversible. It's something brand new. It's now like charcoal. It's not just that wood anymore. So this is a chemical change. I can't take this back. I can't tape it back together. You know, that's going to be that way now forever. All right. So now we have kind of a general idea of what a physical and what a chemical change is. So with those two things, I want you to keep those two words in your head. We're going to now take a look at a recipe that's going to further show what a chemical and what a physical change is. So you ready for this? Okay, let's give this a go. All right, my fellow scientists. So let's start off with all of the different goodies that you're going to need in order to do this experiment. So I'm going to start from the outside and I'll work this way and then I'll go uh, to the borderline. Okay, so first of all, you're going to need a half tablespoon, and I apologize, this, kind of hard to see, but that's the tablespoon that we have. You'll usually find the markings here. This is just a little raised, so it's, again, it's hard to see on the camera. Um, you're also going to need a regular tablespoon. That one you can see a whole lot better. You can also see it's been used quite a lot. <laughs> you're going to need a regular spoon, just a regular fork. A spatula if you want, you don't necessarily need that. A very small bowl, these are otherwise known as ramekins. Um, they are about 175 milliliters, really small. Uh, you can also, parents, use uh, souffle containers, very small ones of those as well. Just make sure that it's something that can go into the microwave. We want to make sure that we're safe on that one. All right, so what else is out here? Well, I have my cake mix here. And the reason why we have it in a bag instead of a box is even though this is something sweet and we kind of uh, like to have treats now and again, we don't have a whole lot, so this kind of keeps it fresh in between. Um, I have a pretend sink way in the back. <laughs> 
because again, I can't film everything all at once, so I won't go ahead and make that. You may have a sink that uh, you can get to, which is easier. Then I have a type of frosting, which we will use a little bit later, and unsweetened applesauce. And if you have these squeezy bottles, uh, this is a great solution if you don't want to go out and get a big thing of applesauce. And many times we just have these around for snacks. So I'll show you how that can be used too. Okay, so how does all of this go together with chemistry in the kitchen? Well, we're gonna talk a little bit about physical and chemical changes using these materials. And we'll start with making the actual base of this. All right, so I'm gonna get some tools out of the way for now. There we go, those will be for later. And now we have, and we're gonna start with this experiment. And again, scientists, if you need to gather these things together and do this later, that's completely fine. I'm gonna do this just as a demonstration. Hopefully you can do it along with us, but don't feel rushed. I wanna make sure that this is something that's enjoyable for you too. We don't want you to feel any type of pressure. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my tablespoon and I'm gonna measure out three tablespoons of my cake mix. And this can be any cake mix that you want. We make no judgments. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of shake it out inside and I can smooth it out inside. So when I pull it out, okay, I've got kind of a flat spoon worth. That's one, everybody count with me. There's one. There is two. And last one, shake a little bit. There is three. All right, so, so far, we've just moved cake mix from this shape or this bag to the bowl. So is that a physical or is that a chemical change? That's a physical so far. It's still the same stuff. I could put it back in the bag and completely reverse this. I haven't created anything new. All right, so here's where we start to get a little more complicated. So I'm now gonna add some other ingredients and perhaps start working on a different type of change. So I'm gonna go back to my tablespoon and I'm gonna take one tablespoon of my applesauce. And you may want to have a parent help you with this. If you're really good with squeezy bottles, you may not. We're just gonna squeeze a tablespoon in there if you need to shake it just a little bit, see if it evens out. And what's really cool about this is whatever you don't use, you can eat later. <laughs> so I'm gonna tap it, okay. So again, still a physical change from here to here. It's the same stuff, just a different shape. I could theoretically put this back in here and be the exact same material. Maybe a little hard to get in the spigot, but anyway, so put that in. Now, still kind of physical change. There's, they're kind of lumped in different sections, right? All right, so my last ingredient is one half tablespoon of water. This is where your sink or your spigot's gonna come in handy. And again, I'm just gonna scoop and water in the bottom here. Okay, and I'm gonna add that, just pull that over here. Let's do that so you can see. I'm gonna add that in there. All right, let me see if I can get that close to the camera here so you can see. So, so far, we see that, well, there's some water in there, there's some applesauce, and there's some cake mix, but they're kind of separate still. Now here comes the fun part. I'm gonna take my fork, I'm gonna get in there, and I'm gonna carefully, because it's a really small bowl, <laughs> I'm gonna mix that up. Now look what's happening. Get that close. Can you see how it's starting to change a little? Starting to kind of clump together. Hmm. Well, now, get my fingers out of the way. I don't see the difference between the applesauce, the water, or the cake mix anymore. They're all kind of becoming the same stuff in the middle. Hmm, so we're working on our chemical change, right? Because I don't think I could take this now and separate out the applesauce and the cake mix and the water. They're all kind of muddy in the middle, right? So I'm gonna keep on stirring that until I get 
it mixed up as much as I can. Get rid of as many lumps as I can. Now what I'm going to do, which also helps with the chemical change, is, can you guys guess where this is going? Because I did mention a microwave. Yeah, now we get to cook this. And what's really cool about this is it doesn't need an, a regular oven, and it's pretty fast. But I'm going to add heat to this, just like what happened to the match. The match had heat involved as well, and see what happens. Okay, so you guys ready for that? Here we go. All right, my fellow scientists, so here is our mix. There we go, now we can kind of see it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to open up the microwave and put this inside, and we are going to cook this for one minute. Here we go. All right, let's see what happened. Oh my gosh, look at that! Can you guys see that? All right, I'm gonna get something to take it out carefully because it was steaming. <laughs> let's see, can I touch the outside? Yeah, be very careful when you go in to touch your experiment, it may be warm. Look at that! Ooh, yeah, let me use this. That is a delicious chemical change. Oh my goodness, there is no way. Let's take a look. Let's see, can I get the applesauce over here too? Can I take the applesauce back out of there? I mean, can I change it back? No, there's a chemical change. I can't get the water or the cake mix out of there anymore too. It's a totally new type, in this case, yummy substance. Okay, so I'm gonna let this cool off for a little bit. But you can actually go forward and do our last step with this. We're going to do one more physical change. Uh, but I wanted to show you what that chemical change looked like. Pretty cool, right? All right, so you can tell that I switched some of the uh, old, or excuse me, the previous materials out for the new stuff. So here is our new substance. Now you can see a little bit better. <laughs> There's no more way to pull out the applesauce or the water or the cake mix. It is a completely new substance, otherwise known as cake. <laughs> All right, so one more change that I'm going to make. I'm going to do one more physical change. So I have my frosting here, and my cake isn't really that cool yet, so you may want to put yours in the fridge and just wait a little bit. But here is the material as it is right now, okay, just regular frosting. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, yeah, I can either use a spatula, which is what I have here, or I can use a spoon. I'm going to try the spatula first, and I will admit that this is not my best decorating tip ever. <laughs> and then I'm just going to go ahead and pop that right over the top, and I can kind of mush it down and smooth it out. Okay, so... This is still, though, frosting, right? Let's get this a little bit closer. Even though it's changed shape, it's still frosting on the top. So that hasn't changed. So there's one more physical change. Chemical underneath, physical on top. So I'll work a little bit more on my physical change in a few minutes, but I want to go ahead and show you that. And let's get back to those big words. And again, you want to go ahead and probably hold on to your experiment, because this is one of those that you can uh, eat afterwards. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about physical and chemical change. All right, my fellow scientists, so let's do a big overview now. We've talked about physical changes and chemical changes. So going back to our physical change, let's go to the match example. In order to change that physically, I went ahead and just broke it into two pieces. That's something that is seen as reversible. I can then put it back together. Now it won't go back together completely, but it hasn't actually changed substance. Um, so that is something that it's still a match. It still burns the same way. It just may be in different, a different shape or different pieces. A chemical change in terms of the match was it burning. So it is actually combusting. In this case, it's giving off heat. Um, so that is going to be something that is permanent. I can't turn it back into a match that hasn't been burned before. That's something that is going to stay forever. Um, okay, so let's talk about the experiment that we did. We had 
our physical change on top, so in reverse, that was the frosting. And regardless of whether or not it was in the container or in a different shape on top, it's still a physical change. It's still the same stuff. Now, underneath, that is where our chemical change happens. So our uh, applesauce, our water, our mix, all of those things are now in a different mixture, in a different substance, all together. We can't pull them apart anymore. I can't go in there and pull out the applesauce or pull out the water. They're all a new mixture. So chemical change, physical change, Yeah, I'd say chemistry tastes pretty good. All right, so go ahead and try this at home. Have fun with it. Science can not only be fun, but yummy. <laughs> and check and see where else you see physical and chemical changes. They're not just in the kitchen, but that's a great place to start. So thanks for joining us, scientists. And this is Marie Lanka signing off for the Children's Discovery Museum. We will see you in our next episode of Science is Everywhere. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you for watching our virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our broadcasts are every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Stay in the loop by joining our email list by visiting www.cdm.org. Sign up today.